It's time to take venting seriously. If you cook a lot or own a high output stove, then take venting very seriously. In this video, you learn how to vent, why makeup air is important, and the law in Massachusetts. Then we'll show you the vents you should not buy. It's a lot to cover. So let's get started with why you need to vent. Your range produces nitrogen oxide, carbon dioxide, and nitrogen dioxide, carbon monoxide, and formaldehyde. It makes sense when you burn fat or fry, you create smoke and grease as well. If you're not venting that smoke and grease, it stays in your home for a period of time along with the gases previously mentioned. These gases need to be vented to the outside. Here's the problem and why it matters more now. When I started at Yale in 1986, an upgraded gas range was a total of 40,000 BTUs, if that much. Many of the ranges are now average 65,000 BTU, and that's not including the high output professional types. At the same time, houses are built with better materials, so air doesn't infiltrate into your house and your inside air doesn't escape to the outside, so those gases from your range stay in your house longer. So let's learn how to vent them properly. Proper venting requires exhaust referred to as CFM, capture area, and acceptable duct run and size. That's it. CFM stands for cubic feet per minute or how many cubes of air are evacuated out of your house in one minute. So when you see a thousand CFM hood, that is the equivalent of the air in a small room. Capture area is defined by height, width, and depth of your hood. It's crucial for many reasons. Where are the high output burners in that range or range top? High outputs, almost without exception, are placed in the front of the range, so smoke will build past the shallow hoods. If you cook a lot, plan on having a minimum of 24 inches in depth for your hood. Depth matters because smoke is also retained and then exhausted, it's not immediately exhausted, even with that high CFM blower. Venting direction is easy. You want to use gravity and run your venting up and straight out. If you're on a wall, then straight back is fine. Venting down using multiple elbows with longer runs will never work because the static flow will slow. That's why downdrafts are such a bad idea. Use the recommended duct size. You also want to have rigid piping as well so grease doesn't collect in flexible joints and cause a problem later. Let's look at venting products to avoid. If we're saying you need an excellent capture area, downdrafts have none. They reduce the static pressure of the vent by adding at least one elbow with longer runs. The over the range microwave centralizer your cooking and is super cheap to buy. However, it's still only 310 CFM and 15 inches deep. Burners are 22 to 24 inches in depth. You'll love the look of this vent. You slide it out and the hood works. You also have no capture area with no coverage of the front burners. Most people build a wood hood to align with the cabinet. It looks good, but you lose the capture area. And use the appropriate blower. Most are underpowered. Mounting one of these on a the ceiling may be too high to capture anything in the instructions. They mention four to seven feet off the cooking surface. When makeup beer was first legislated, many people complained about governmental overreach, but it actually makes sense. In the old days, many homes were drafty, so when you turn on your hood, it would just naturally infiltrate. Many homes now are built airtight with better windows and more energy efficient materials. Now air cannot infiltrate. You turn on that 1500 CFM blower, start evacuating large amounts of air. What happens, air will return whether you plan for it or not. That air will be made up from your attic, your garage, your furnace, that's not healthy. The new construction, you can install makeup dampers in your HVAC, otherwise the law stays 10 feet away from the stove on the opposite wall, so you're not returning exhausted air. Bowen is inexpensive makeup air kits with smart damper openings when you activate your hood. Every range does throw up some gases you would rather not have in your home. Venting, especially for new construction, is easy. Play in the right capture, CFM, and ducting. With the right venting, you'll have much better indoor air quality. Click the link to download our free ventilation buying guide. Unfortunately, we all know someone who's been talked into buying the wrong appliance or venting the wrong way. Don't let that happen to you. Almost one million people have found the right answers in the Yale Guide. Thanks for watching.